it's time for your annual football update with Brady, Holly, Dylan, and Lee Mason. Good evening, I'm Grady. And I'm Holly. Welcome to our 2015 Year in Review. Yeah, um, I, I wanted to talk to you about that, Holly. Um, you know, 20, 2015 was not a good year. I was thinking maybe it would be more appropriate to, to review a really good year. Like, like talking we're talking about like 1985, you know, the year that we met and fell in love. Yeah, I mean, 1985 was, it was an awesome year. Actually, I mean, that's not the real world. I mean, we were in college. Yes, yes, we were in college at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. It was awesome. I mean, back then I was a, I was a mature 20-year-old junior, and you were an 18-year-old freshman. <laughs> yes. That was a pretty awesome time. But, you know, Grady, I think if you look back on 2015, you'll see that we had some really good times then as well. Hi, 2015. 2015! Did, did you inhabit some parallel but somehow better universe last year? I guess I did. 2015 was awful. I mean, the best, thing we, the best thing we got out of 2015 was this damn it doll! The damn it doll that Grandma Minnie gave us. 2015 was the year of the mold apocalypse! Just look at these pictures. Look! <gasps> Yes, um, that was pretty terrible. It really was. Pretty terrible. Damn it, damn it, damn it! You know, on the other hand, we were able just to move right around the corner to stay while our house was being remodeled and repaired and fixed all up, you know? Yeah, and, and we stayed there for a couple of months. And then when we moved back into the house, the very next Day, I turned 50! 50! <laughs> Come down. Come down. Yes, yes, you turned 50. But, you know, as your Nana always says, that beats the alternative. I see. And then I saw something else. What did I find, Holly? You found more mold, damn it! <laughs> more mold. And when did I find it? You found it after all the furniture had been moved out so that we could have the floors refinished. Damn it, ow! We were blessed with the opportunity to live like that for an extended time. Yeah. And uh, the refrigerator was in the That's garage, remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I mean, it's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> Oh, man. And then we couldn't even stay like that. We had to move out again. Ah! That wasn't so bad. And then, you know, when we moved back in the house, we had all these great upgrades. We did a lot of improvements. I mean, think about your, your workout room. It's awesome now. We are here to pump you up. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. And Dylan and I have had some really good workout sessions mm -hmm. down there with all that new gear. Yeah. Oh, and mercifully, right after we got back into the house, it was mm -hmm. summertime and the living's easy. easy. Summertime. Except, ex ex except, <laughs> it was not easy. Don't you remember? Like, as soon as summer started, Dylan had to begin working on college applications. Oh. And good Lord, that was tedious. That was... Everybody in the family had to pitch in to help out. And mm -hmm. it didn't go for just a few days or weeks. It went on through the summer all the way through November. Yes. Damn it, damn it, damn it. But he's right. I mean, it was, it was intense. It was an intense period of time. I mean, regular college applications and essays, I mean, that's enough. But Dylan, 
applied to film school. So when he applied to film school, he had to make artistic statements and writing samples, and then he had to create these videos, which meant that I had the pleasure of helping him manage this whole process and reviewing all of his writing things and then adding to them and then looking at the rewrites and all. Remember though, and remember, Dylan is a very, very gifted filmmaker. I mean, you know, he won that honorary mention in the Scholastic Arts and Writing Awards in 2014. Well, then he took the silver key in that same competition for 2015. And then this summer, he went on and he crewed on an indie feature film called Son of Clowns, right? And then he went to work as an intern at The Green Room, which is an awesome video uh, production company, and they loved him there. But, you know, I think the best thing of all was that those college application videos he worked on, I mean, that was a chance for our whole family to come together as a team and work on those. That was great. Aww. And you know, summer wasn't all work either. I mean, think about it. You and Dylan got to go see the Rolling Stones. That was pretty fun, right? And then my sister and her family came in from California and we went down to Ocean Isle Beach for a week with my parents. That was great. Yeah, I remember that trip. No, no, that's not at all how it was. It was more like this. Oh, and look at Lee Mason. He's so happy. So yeah, I, I guess Lee Mason had a pretty good 2015 after all. Happy birthday, Lee Mason. Happy birthday to you. Oh yeah, Lee Mason had a super year. I mean, he even got to go up to New York City with the Montessori Model United Nations program. And he got to go into the UN Assembly Hall where they met. That's right, they did meet there. Yeah. And right after he got back, he and his friends performed live on the radio. Mm -hmm. They were doing the April Fool's edition of the award-winning yeah. Gene and Julie show. Yeah, that was hilarious. And then he got to go to a couple camps this summer, and then he played soccer for his um, school's team. And then after that, he started taking acting improv classes. And oh my God, he's a natural at that. <laughs> Respect. Lee Mason did have a pretty good 2015. Oh, yeah. That's but great. um Holly, mm -hmm. I mean, what about you? What you know, me? I mean you've been so sick and yeah, um sick. you had to do all these crazy kind of assessments mm -hmm. and treatments. Mm -hmm. Um plus you had to retire from a career that you really loved and all those wonderful people that you worked with for so long. Yeah. I mean it is, I mean, you're right. It's disappointing that I'm not healthy enough to continue working. But the good news is I get to spend more time with you and the boys. And I'm better than I was a year ago, right? Right? Yeah. And, I mean, Deloitte gave me that amazing retirement party. I mean, that was one of the best nights of my life. It was just so much fun. It was great. We miss you. We love you. I love this woman. <laughs> uh, I just want to say thank you for being such a gift in my life and for helping me be the leader I am because I wouldn't be it without you. <laughs> There's Holly sitting in the floor with her arm up and Grady is twirling her around. <laughs> and they're just laughing and having the best time. But I, I think sometimes you only have so many minutes to work in your life and she already did hers. <laughs> 
I am so grateful to her. And I thought, who is this mythical creature? <laughs> Do you remember Holly? You have got to improve your handwriting. <laughs> okay, um, did you ever take an ass whooping on my account? <laughs> Uh, I don't think it was on your account. I had plenty of my own account. Do <laughs> you want to say something? Oh, no. <laughs> First time ever. <laughs> I remember what we were working on. Uh, but about two in the morning, I hear somebody coming downstairs. It's my wife, and she says, who are you on the phone with? And I said, Jake from... <laughs> We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Winston Churchill. <laughs> okay, so join me in raising a glass to our friend and our partner and our loved one, Holly Crumpler. Cheers. 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 You complained about 2015, but you had some fun in 2015. Does this look like fun? Oh, no, 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 that was not fun. But, but think about it. I mean, why is it that you ended up in the emergency room with back spasms? I mean, was it because you deadlifted 325 pounds? Well, yeah, I did do that. You did, which is not bad for a man of your um, advanced age. <laughs> but you did get to play the, um, that gig with Phil for Sorority Bid Night at Chapel Hill, I mean... It was pretty awesome. Right? <laughs> you get paid for that. And after development for two years, you launched your new act, Right Size. Rock and roll, baby. So yeah, maybe 2015 wasn't so bad after yeah. all. You know, maybe we did have some more good spots than I realized. Yeah, I think we have a lot to be grateful for. Aww. I've got a good idea. You know, why don't we show them that video that Dylan made for his application to Chapman University's film school. You know, that was the one where he had to tell something about himself that was not related to film. He couldn't be in it. Right, he couldn't be in it. And, um, you know, you made that great soundtrack, and Lee Mason played the young Dylan, and I did a pretty good job as the librarian, I think. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's roll. At age 10, I had done what many only dream of doing. I completed a novel. After months of typing, I wasn't satisfied with simply clicking save. I wanted to share my story. I brought a printed edition of my imaginative tale to my school's librarian, seeking publication and distribution. That year, at my fifth grade graduation, I was given the Principal's Award for making the school a better place to learn. Back then, I thought that Spikey was just a story I would share with my school. Now I know it was my first step in impacting others through storytelling. So that wraps up 
wraps up our 2015. Check out next year and see where Dylan ends up going to college. Yes, we want to know. And also, we'll resolve the cliffhanger that came when Mindy the Mold Dog visited us mm -hmm. and sniffed around to see if we had any more mold. What did she find? Will we be able to continue living here? Will we have to move out again? Will we have to move in with you? Tune in next year to get the answers to these and many more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, we hope you all have an outstanding 2016. next year when we'll find out where does Dylan go to college? Inquiring minds want to know. No. And... No. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs>